We absolutely pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beautifies our uh, insides as He's beautified our outsides. Um, I was debating on how I should make today's video and what should the video be about or should I just release the Jummah Khutbah at one time. But I was, I was actually debating about these things and I was just like, you know what, maybe I should just release the Khutbah later on today and then I was just like, why? Why should I do that? I'm like, who says that a Jummah Khutbah has to be released on Friday? Why can't I release it on Saturday? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to release my Jummah Khutbah that I'm giving in just a little bit. Um, on Saturday, inshallah. That's going to be Saturday's video, the Jummah Khutbah, you know? So you get a special reminder. How long is it going to be, SQ? How long do you think your Khutbah is going to be? Probably under 15 minutes. And I'm going to get straight to the point. And inshallah, it's going to be impactful. Make dua. You know, that's my goal, to impact the people. Way of Life SQ, keeping it 100. This, this video is also sponsored by Sandeed. I spo each video is sponsored by Sandeed. Even if... They stop paying me to say it. It's sponsored by Sandeed. You know what I mean? They're, look at their branding. Look at this stove. I know some of you are feeling it. Don't even front. Some of you are feeling this, mashallah. Like, I, I, I enjoy it. I love it. SQ30 for the discount. Link in the description, right? Don't, or don't buy it. It, it, doesn't really, it doesn't really make a difference to me. You know, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to make this video about the subtle art of giving da'wah. Or the subtle art of giving nasiha, or the subtle art of nasiha, or the art of nasiha, or the art of dawah. I wanted to make a video like that because I feel like people who feel the, the right to correct others are correcting people in the wrongest way possible. And they don't see that the way they're correcting is wrong. How can you correct someone by speaking in the worst possible way to them? You know? I, I honestly, I laugh when people say the harshest, meanest things. And some of you might ask you, you know, do the haters talk? It's not about that. Like, it, it just, there's, they're not haters. They're, not, they're my Muslim brothers and sisters. They're not haters. Why would I even think of them as haters? Some people say, oh, you know, the lion doesn't worry about what the sheep think. I'm supposed to be the lion? They're supposed to be the sheep? What? I'm being compared? You're comparing someone? To, hey, why are we calling them haters? Trolls? You know, trolls are Muslim brothers and sisters. There needs to be hope for them. There needs to be hope for them. That they could change. That they can change. That they can be better for people. You know? You, you're just not used to seeing a person walking around and pacing and, and talking. I don't blame you. Your whole life you've been taught how Islam should look and feel and, and think you've lost its creativity. You've been taught, you know, that you have to be seated and make a video. That, it's not your fault. That's just what's been given to you for so many years. Not a dude just standing in the middle of a basketball court in a school gym yard or a recess ground or, or, or backyard and just talking. You're not used to that. I don't blame you. You know, like I, I'm not mad at you when you're saying mean things to me. I'm making dua for you. Believe me, I am. Believe me, I am. Yeah, but this video is definitely sponsored by Sandeed. They make thobes too. I wanted to bring this out because yesterday I wore jeans. And I wanted to showcase that they make jeans. But I want to show they, they make thobes. Like this thobe looks really, really good. I just don't feel like I'm in the best shape to wear it because a lot of their stuff is very athletic fit. And uh, I wanted to throw in this jean jacket, uh, you know, because it goes with the look. Got some dunks on. Some really, I think, cool basic ones. They're a little dirty though. Got a little pink tint. Some of you had, uh, like, uh, excuse me, where's those pink sneakers? Well, I like having a little tinge of pink in it. It's good. You know, that's why I got a little watch on, a little kufi on. This is how I come to work. This is how I come to work. You know, I'm very, I have ghira. I have, I have, a, I have a, a jealousy, a protection over my family, as you would imagine. Right? You have a ghira, a, a, a jealousy, a, a healthy jealousy over your religion, over your family. Don't you dare speak about my family. That's the line that gets crossed. You know? I swear, you know, as a school teacher over here, I teach in this building over here, alhamdulillah. The kids that I teach are my kids. I don't treat, I don't teach them as they're some stranger's kids. I treat them and I teach them as if they were my own little brothers and sisters. Amongst my students, there's some who are Muslim and there's some who are not. I shared with you that, you know, one of my students identified to be trans or they wanted to change their gender or whatever it, it was and I had to respect that. And some of you in the comment section, oh, how are you going to allow... They need... What's their home environment? Do you know what blessings it is to open a fridge and not see beer in it? 
not see pork in it, not see ham in it, not see haram meat in it, not see wine coolers in there. Do you know what a blessing that is? People who are reverts, they don't have that same type of blessings. That goodness, there's alcohol in their thing. Oh, they should throw out their whole family stuff and that's their reality, man. That's their reality. And then you have a chance to change their reality for six hours of their day. And if all of a sudden, oh, you can't be trans, you can't be this, you can't. I'm not here to do that. I'm here to use my influence to help people draw closest to Allah, to discover who they are. And the only way for you to discover who you are is by discovering who made you. This is going to be a good khutbah, inshallah. The khutbah is going to be about tawakkul. Tawakkul. What does that mean? What does it mean to have tawakkul? Versus what a lot of us do, which is called tawakkul. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> Who knows? I'm not a scholar. <laughs> Yesterday, yesterday's video, you should check out yesterday's video. The sister, I forgot who it was. I think it's a sister, wrote in the comment section at 4.04 or whatever. She timestamped it. She's like dying. I watched and I started dying too. When I told you yesterday that I'm giving a khutbah, tomorrow I have a khutbah. I don't know if I'm, I know, right? Ugh, who's going to have you ask you in a khutbah? Oh, and a mushroom, oh, no knowledge. Oh. <laughs> and I imitated the people who were like, <laughs> we're like, Yo, you're going to give a khutbah ice cream? I thought that was really, really funny. I get cracked up just thinking about it. The Lakers won yesterday, right? I, I, I genuinely believe that the Nuggets have them exactly where they want them to be. Another 3-1 series. And I think that they're figuring it out. And once they start figuring it out, it's going to click. It's going to click for them, inshallah. I do believe that that's going to happen. You know? You don't just buy players and assemble the team. And Anthony Davis and LeBron James, not everyone has the luxury to do that. Which You think Anthony Davis wants to come to Denver? Probably now, now that they got some stars over there, right? But who wants to come over there? You know, you, I, I respect Denver so much because they built their team. You know, Lakers bought their team, you know. And people who wanted to win came to that team. So, uh, and free agency, which is respect, you know, nonetheless, but uh, I just feel like Denver has a cooler story and I'm, I'm rooting for them. I really want Denver to win. But LeBron James is a good person, mashallah, from what I can see that's apparent, right? Judging from what's apparent. Judging from what's apparent. He looks like a good person. Why, why should I see him as any other way? Why should I not see him as a potential brother of mine in Islam? Why shouldn't I see him in that way? I feel like all the causes that he does, like if he only knew about Islam more, Maybe he doesn't know. He would be a Muslim. I, I believe that. Like he's starting schools, all these amazing organizations. He's a Muslim. He's doing Muslim-like things. He just doesn't know any better. He doesn't know. Maybe he does. Maybe the word of Allah, like who Allah is, who the Messenger Sallallahu is, maybe that hasn't reached him yet. Isn't it our responsibility to do that? Or is it like Allah is just going to sort it out? That's tawakkul. That you work your butt off and you know Allah is going to handle the rest. I'm, I'm trying. I want this message to get to LeBron James. Why is it that Casey Neistat, who by the way, who by the way, saved my YouTube channel? Not clickbait, right? Someone was just like, oh, you know, ask you, oh, you do all these clickbaits. No, I make clickable titles, clickable thumbnails. That's what I do. None of it is a lie. It's all clickable. It's all clickable. I make sure of these things. I'm annoyed by it. You expect me to take your opinion, and don't take this in an arrogant manner, but like, think about this for a second. You expect me to take your opinion seriously when you don't even watch the full video? This is how people change. They change their artistic vision because for the people. That's why people have these meltdowns and you know breaks from YouTube and all that because they're becoming someone for the camera who's not them. I'm, I pace, I move, I walk around, I move my hands around and that's, that's how I am. Want me to change for you? I'll be all stiff. I'd be all stiff. I'd be all stiff. People are afraid to show you their true colors and who they really are. People are afraid. When the camera's off, a lot of people act funny. A lot of people act funny. These videos are for the real ones. Casey Neistat gets averages two, three million views. What is he, what is he really doing? Storytelling through his amazing edits and his shots. And it's awesome what he does, you know? But what benefit did you get from it? No disrespect. Like you got some entertainment, maybe put a smile on your face, maybe it improved the quality of your day, perhaps. But did it remind you of a line, his messenger? Right? These videos, I hope they do. I hope they do. That's why I want people like SQ to do for the views. Yeah, I do. Don't you want views? You think I, I, I make this video right now during my break? I taught. I've been teach. I've been up, obviously, since, uh, since early. Did hostel, did everything. It's Jumwa. I've been teaching from 9 to 10.20 on Zoom. 
I have a break between 10.20 to 11.10. Then from 11.10 all the way up to 2, I'm supposed to be working, right? But in between then, I'm going to try to find a way to edit this and put up a thumbnail and upload it. It's not for anyone, it's for the sake of Allah. Maybe the video is getting too long. I'm not trying to praise myself. That's not, that, that's not what's happening, guys. Like, it's just me trying to explain to you that like, I do, I do want the views. Like, look how much work I'm putting it in. But I have tawakkul in Allah that if I keep putting in the work and I keep knowing my intention and spreading a positive message, that eventually when Allah finds it fit, He's going to open the floodgates. Eventually. But it's my responsibility to stay strong and between point A of where I am and point B, where I want to go, between those points right here, that is the patience curve right here. That's the patience. That's the patience. In that process, Allah is going to test your patience and your resilience to get to point B. And if you could pass that, if you could work through it, point B is going to be amazing, inshallah. Imagine millions of views of just a regular stranger dude just talking in the backyard and reminding you about Allah. Imagine that. Imagine what would happen to the world then. I was telling earlier, I know I jump around topics all the time. I was saying earlier about Ghira. We all have Ghira. I have Ghira over my students. Someone try to call them, try to say something negative about them. I'd come for your throat. I would. My gloves are off. If you ever, ever talk about my students, obviously you would understand if I said wife, right? You could imagine that. My children, you could imagine that. But these people in the school, my students, my kids, my kids. If anyone were to ever say something about them, I'd come for their throats. I would. Those are my kids. Don't ever disrespect my kids. I'm not saying any of you are doing that, but that's the type of love I have for them. That's the type of love I have for them. And I believe that they have love for me too. I, I believe me. Believe me, I do. I believe that from, from the blessings of Allah. From the blessings of Allah. Not from me because I'm awesome. From the blessings of Allah. That if you try to say something negative about me in front of them, they'd come for your throats too. They would. Excuse giving us threats. <laughs> There's no threats over here, guys. I'm just saying, like, we got to be respectful of each other. Someone said you teach at a Kafir school. Kafir? That's what they are. Kafir? They're 11-year-olds. Kafir? So much potential in life. So much ability to, to, to be and do and achieve. Kafir. There's some dogs passing by. Hey, doggies. Hi, doggies. Hi, doggies. Assalamu alaikum, doggies. Assalamu alaikum doggies. Hey, you wanna keep say hi, hi doggies, salam alaikum. Hi guys. <laughs> doggies. They know. They know. They gave me salam in their own language. MashaAllah. May Allah bless them. Oh, I ski you near a dog. <laughs> oh gosh. I, I love this so much. Honest to God. I love it. I love it. I love it so much, mashallah. May Allah accept from us, increase us, and guide us and bless us and forgive us and Allow me to figure out a name for this. I don't really know a name that I'm going to have a title over here. Um, but love you all for the sake of Allah. Check out some of my other videos. Uh, and that's just really all I got for you. I'll see you guys live on Sunday, inshallah, with another Sexual Intimacy in Islam 101 video. It's about orgasms. Okay, I'm out. I got to go. See you on Sunday, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. I'm out.